guys, happy 2023. Now let's look at our materials. I'm using an SHF body coon and Hansi Arts 3D printed head sculpt. As usual, we're using an SHF body coon and I had this 3D printed by my partner Hansi Arts and he just printed out one head sculpt because that was the only request of my client. Looking at the proportion of this, this is perfect in terms of ratio and size. First thing to do is spray this with a primer gray base. Now looking at the head sculpt with the primer gray base, now we can see the details more clearly. Now um, next step is to spray this with a flat flesh of Tamiya spray paint so that we can get the flesh colored skin tone. And now I'm going to adjust the skin tone to a lighter one to match the body and um, start coloring in the hair black and the eyes white. The base of the eyes white and the mouth uh, and the teeth white something like this i'm doing fast forward because this is just a very straightforward and easy head sculpt to paint now up to the details jumping straight into the body now we have to do some clothing so i made black pants i use this template over here and black spandex cotton fabric cut two pieces and sew them together and now i have this and for the top i'm using a this template and white spandex cotton fabric cut two pieces and sew them together and make them short sleeves and also i made from the same same template a gray um, three-piece um, fabric for the jacket fast forward i've finished up my edges and the measurements on this clothing to the exact body and i've added a little bit more details like the v-neckline and the final lengths onto this body now moving on to um i've added feet uh, like the karerihito feet for this figure and making it slippers and making the gray jacket top And just a quick and short video to show you the full figure of Shuji Hanma. This was just a fairly straightforward and quick build. All we really needed to do was to make the clothing and of course detail up the head sculpt that my client requested. And of course, Hanma wouldn't be complete without the tattoos um, at the back of his hand. So looking at the alternate hands, I've um, drawn his symbol on each of the hands, the alternate hands that came with him. And of course, uh, the iconic um, v-neck white and black pants that we see him first coming into the anime with slippers, which is so badass. And of course, uh, I, put, I put a little bit more effort on this because I want my clients to get the best of my figures. I've made an alternate outfit for this Shuji Hanma, so removing the hands, removing the head, moving his hands straight up to remove the white top. and. As you can see here, I actually exchanged the body from the normal SHF body kun to the Takara Rihito version um, because I think it has a little bit more elongated frame. The Takara Rihito frame has a little bit more length and much more accurate to Suji Hanma. So that's why I did an exchange body frame of this. But regardless, it's just the very same uh, measurements and all that with this figure. Now, putting, I've also made an inner black shirt to go with this gray ja uh, jacket for Shuji Hanna, which then looks really, really good putting on, back on the head and the hands. I think this is just a little bit of changing up the clothing so that we can get another variation of Hanma. Now, this is the look when the fight between Toman and Valhalla went on. So I think that was towards the last episodes of season one. I just drew on the Valhalla lo logo at the back, added a little bit of pocket and red strap at the left shoulder. So what are we waiting for? Jump straight to action poses.